Hi there Muslim Boo friends, I'm Boo and today I'm taking you through bypassing another combination padlock. In this video I will point apart so you can see what's inside so you know how to decode it. This lock has a common problem seen on dial combination locks so it should work with a lot of different locks. Let's start pulling this lock apart. First we take a look at the lock. It has a plastic covering and using a screwdriver it's easy to just pop this cover off and the plastic is gone. Looking at the lock case we can see four round marks on one side. We took a guess that these are a type of rivet holding the two pieces of the case together. So we went out to the garage, put the lock in a vise and started drilling them out to see if we were right. Here we have the four rivets drilled down. Using a screwdriver, we pop the case and you can see where the rivets have broken. And here's the case from the side half open. We just pried a bit more and done. Here is the inside of the case. It's pretty awesome. First we have the shackle, which is the main bit of the lock that you want to disengage. Next we have the gears. These wrap around the shackle and if they aren't all aligned, the shackle can't slide and open. Lastly, we have the dials with the numbers on them. These turn the gears. Here is a close up of the shackle with the gears and dials removed. It has four pins on the side, one for each gear. These are the bits that stop the shackle moving when the gears aren't aligned. And this is the gear by itself. You can see a groove on the inside. This is the bit that lets the pins on the shackle move through the gear. If the shackle pin isn't aligned with the groove, it won't open. Also take notice of this little notch at the top. This is really important later. In this photo, we have the shackle, one gear, and one dial put back together. The pins on the shackle are on the right, where you can't see them. On the right of the gears is that groove we showed before, and sign up with the shackle pins. So this is the open position for this dial. Note that the dial is on number three, so this dial's correct combination is three. And see the notch I said was important? It's pointing straight up when the dial is in the open position. This is how we decode this lock. All you need is a decoding tool, a shim, or something else really thin. If you slide it down next to each dial, you can feel for this notch. Rotate the dial and keep feeling. When you have all four notches at the top, you have the right combination and open! Let's do this. Just a note while I pick this. At the end when I have all the notches aligned, you'll see me flip the lock over and rotate the dials. It's just because I find it easier to hold the lock where the notches are on the bottom. It means I need to rotate the dials 180 degrees so the notches are on the top. Then I can open it. If you have bigger hands and can hold it the upper way, you don't need to do this. Open. If you want to learn more lock picking techniques, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Also give us a thumbs up if you liked it. We would love to hear from you in the comments, so let us know if you have any techniques you recommend or any comments about the video or locks in general. Until then, have fun lock picking and we'll be back soon with another lock bypass.